for triathletes, one goal, competing at the Ironman World Championships. We provide the best coaching and equipment, see what happens next. In episode four, we follow the athletes as they head to the coast for some riding and running in beautiful Santa Cruz. We're heading to Santa Cruz today for Independence Day, we're having a little party there. Before that, we're just going for a five hour bike ride. <laughs> Just. A little bit. Yeah, just. <laughs> this will be a very good test to test the position, how yeah. it feels. Yesterday I was test tested already. Yeah, but it was a short ride yesterday. Yeah. So and now on, on climbing you, you can feel better also yeah. for the downhills. They're obviously world class age groupers. You know, they've got full time jobs, some of them have got families, you know, they've got so much going on, but their passion and commitment to performance and, and you know it's just it's just brilliant to see that you know Bex has never done an Iron, Iron Man before and she's got Bolton so there's a lot of pressure there and especially coming here 10 days before her first race so I've got a lot of respect for that. Bex is I mean she's coming from a really competitive cycling background so she has has a lot of power and, I, and I'm sure she will smash it actually yeah I mean um, even if she has some problems on the run I think she, she will smash the race for sure. Oh. Have you told her that? Uh, maybe I have to tell her. Last year I had my kind of professional cycling was cut short because of a bit of a bad crash. And so that ended in July last year. So I didn't really get to fulfill my year as a professional cyclist and it broke my heart. And I think there's a little bit of kind of, not so much anger, but I've got a point to prove to myself that I can do it and I can, I can't driven and committed to, to achieve that goal still. So yeah, I'm just going to, that into it. I just ended my interval. I did about three times six minutes hard uphill, about two, uh, 360 to 400 watts. I was doing three times 10 minutes um, up the hill and then just with five minutes rest. Just um, makes things a lot easier. If you just share pain, it's just definitely better. Oh, you guys. We are cooking up homemade pizzas here. This is the first one. Apparently cheese, cheese pizza at first, just to test it. Well, first pizza is always just test the temperature of the oven. And then once it's good, then we get fancy. And then we just build it right here. Yes. Like I go straight off the egg. We don't need to use pan, so. I'm so excited. You know what? I feel like above anything, I've found some lifelong friends this week and that it's priceless. It's been amazing. It has probably been one of the coolest weeks of my life, honestly. Yes, part of Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Happy fourth. <laughs> let's go to the beach. Beach, let's get away. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're going to go and see the fireworks. I actually got an electric longboard at home. I usually go to work. Well, as a police officer. Yeah. I think that's efficient. But this feel like you've really got on with everyone. And... No, not really. Everyone is. Um... <laughs> <laughs> No, it's been awesome. I mean, it's been such a learning experience for everyone. I think, um, you know, working with a company like Specialized, going to the wind tunnel, and um, yeah, doing, being able to do some training as well together in a relaxed environment. It's almost uh, coming to an end now. The team is fantastic. It's a great crew. It's fantastic out here. Stay tuned for our final episode as camp comes to a close and the athletes share emotional goodbyes. <laughs>